I'm Mr. Bethauser. Welcome to Betland Economics. Today I'm outside the Irish Embassy in Washington, D.C. The United States and Ireland have long been close allies. In fact, 2024 marks 100 years of diplomatic ties between our two countries. According to U.S. Census data from 2022, 9.5% of Americans report some Irish ancestry. Closer to home, St. Patrick's Catholic Church, established in 1794, was built for Irish immigrants who worked on the Capitol and White House. In fact, the White House itself was designed by Irish-American architect James Hoban. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Bishop Dennis J. O'Connell was an Irish immigrant born in County Cork in 1849. Today, travel between our two countries has never been easier. Aer Lingus, the national airline of Ireland, provides two daily nonstop flights from Washington Dulles to Dublin. Ireland and the United States maintain strong economic ties. The United States is Ireland's top export destination. One of those products you might find at your local grocery store is delicious Kerrygold Irish butter. In addition, foreign direct investment by Irish companies in Northern Virginia provides employment to nearly 4,000 individuals. Irish investment in the Northern Virginia area will continue to grow with Hanley Energy, a power and energy management company, announcing recently on its opening of its North American headquarters in Ashburn. As we celebrate St. Patrick's Day, don't forget about our strong economic, political, and cultural ties between our two countries. Until next time, thanks for watching.